So this explains a bit. Cambridge has got a nice bikeway right here. The part across the street for me would be the crucial part because there isn't much of a bike run in through here. It would come in pretty handy as an alternate route to uh, North Cambridge. So let's follow this a bit. Or actually, I think it'd be more fun just to follow the railroad tracks. I'll do that. This section seems like it almost may have some vernacular path action, although it looks pretty overgrown as well. It's fairly... Oh yeah, I see there's also a path paralleling it over here. So this thing is just redundant. If interesting nonetheless. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll hit that path. So yeah, there's the old branch through the trees. And yeah, here's a perfectly outstanding walk and bikeway following Fresh Pond. <laughs> and the ever-present admonishments and entreaties to the pooch owning community. Ah, yes. So yeah, in parallel. An enchained fresh pond over here. Still the ghostly tracks faintly seen through the brush over here. And we'll follow this thing until there's a significant divergence. With one eye to the course of the track. There's some old bent rail ruins. This is much easier than actually trying to hack your way through it. <laughs> Pooch chasing ball. An eternal verity. Ah. And here's a little connector path that crosses over the thing. And we eventually arrive at parts of Fresh Pond I recall from a long time ago. Now what's it doing? Oh yeah. It opens into a relatively manicured bed. Keep the pooches off of the mowed grassy areas, good idea. So at this point, having discovered why Cambridge hasn't been particularly psyched to use this thing, I can totally see why. They've got it in parallel already three times over. And they'd really look like idiots if they really made it an issue. It's too bad the timing didn't work out such that the right-of-way became available. But right-of-way anxieties are some of the most intractable things in property law. And it passes through a cattail marsh. And here we have the temple to water purification. A vast 
property named after a 60s and 70s era mayor, Walter J. Sullivan. I vaguely remember him as a kid. So here it goes back in the woods again. Do I want to hack my way through the mess or shall I just follow it along the convenient trail provided? We'll go the easy way. It's interesting that even though this is a dead right of way and no train has been on this part of it probably since Jimmy Carter was president, they still are required to maintain these signs. And so there we see it with cat and nine tails growing in its old drain swale. Highly attractive to blackbirds. And here we have the bike route. Presumably a pedestrian route as well. Although <laughs> I imagine the bike ride bicyclists might differ. You never know. <laughs> 